Do you love me, Gisborne? Yes, sir. I'm so pleased to hear it, because I don't think the sheriff loves his prince. No, I don't think he does at all. My time is almost here, Gisborne. Yeah, my father Henry, God rest his soul, wanted me to be king, not my brother Richard. Me. King. That was his wish. And I will be soon. My father taught me to surround myself with only those most loyal, with only those who love me. You'd make a fine sheriff, Gisborne. I'm confident in that. Does it please you that I have such confidence in you? Yes, sir. Huh. Robin Hood isn't dead. I told you, I told the sheriff, I wanted Robin Hood dead. His blood is a gift I covered, and yet no one gives it me. If the sheriff loved Prince John, he would give it me. And yet I do not have it. Ergo, he doesn't love me. Well, I will have blood. The sheriff's blood. You will kill the sheriff for me, Gisborne. Discreetly. And if two of us will know, the private secret we can share. And you will do this for me, Gisborne. Because you love me. me when I was a child anyway. Is that to be your dying thought? Yes. Go on. End it now. Put us both out of our misery. 
come on! What's wrong with you? Look, or maybe we change things. King Richard is dead. Prince John is due to be crowned. That's right. I can help you. How can you help me? I can speak for you. But for that, you need me alive. Kill me, and you kill your last chance back with the new king. Let me live, and we both get what we want. How did you sleep? With one eye open. If we're going to work together, we must learn to lower our guard. It looks painful. It's a scratch. I'll be fine. Here. So... How am I to get back into the new king's favour? I've decided to speak to him for you. On one condition. I need you to apologise. Apologise? What for? You know what for. Isabella, had I not arranged your marriage, we would still be living in some godforsaken corner of France without a penny or acre to our name. Better that than to have been with him. No. It is not my fault that you failed to make the best of your chance. In fact, it's down to me that we're still in with a chance of anything. So instead of wasting time, I say we work out exactly what it is you're going to say to the prince. I was thinking... Maybe I should just drug you and hand you into him myself. What? I was willing to forgive you, brother. But you don't deserve my absolution. <sighs> oh, no, no, no. It's not your drink. It's your wound. <clears throat> oh, straight into your bloodstream. <laughs> Concentrated valerian root. Enough to knock out a horse. I doubt Lord Sheridan would have thought of that one. How about a state funeral? He's been... Don't do it. I know he deserves it, but with no leader at home, England could be ripped apart, torn up by war, what has England ever done for me? Brother. Don't think I won't shoot you as well after everything you've done. I know. But you'll have to decide which one of us you want dead the most. Prince John or me? Because as much as I hate Robin Hood, he loves his country. And he won't give you a second shot. in the house of God will be damned for all eternity. Thank you. 